Hi guys, my name is Naomi and this video is going to be a part of a series about me becoming an entrepreneur. And I am just so excited to bring you guys along with me on this journey. I am starting a candle business and oh my god. I'm starting a candle business. <laughs> I am so excited. I I really like I'm really excited. I have watched other YouTubers posting about their journey as becoming an entrepreneur and it's always been exciting to watch other YouTubers on how they started their business and I love watching to see like different tips and tricks on how to start a business because I know I've always wanted to start a business so I am here to showcase that to you guys and I would love for you guys to come along on this journey with me so if you are new here which you probably are please subscribe to my channel and let's get right into this video okay so i actually got this idea of starting a candle business from a youtube video that i saw it was the owner of black sunflower candles and the video was basically like a behind the scenes of her day-to-day -day, um, business experience. And so the title was, she makes $250,000 a year making candles. And your girl was interested after that. Okay. <laughs> no, but like I just, I, I, I watched it because I didn't want it to be like, you know those videos on YouTube that are like, make a million dollars with zero money like definitely didn't want to watch a video like that because i wanted the real of the video so i watched it and i became immediately intrigued because it was just so interesting to watch her behind the scenes and the the, the different things that she has to do as a candle maker and i started doing research after that and realized this was something that I should be doing. You know, I'm somebody that burns candles every day. I wanted to start a business from the beginning. And so it was just kind of like, all right, well, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> because it just fit. It felt like it fit. The more research that I did, the more understanding that I did, uh, understanding that I had for it. So here we are. But, you know... Starting a business is not easy, as many of you may know already. It's not easy. There's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of struggle. Um, there's a lot of misunderstanding and trying to figure things out. Like, I honestly, I feel like I am taking a final. And my test is coming up very soon. And I have to hurry up and study. That's what I feel like. like it is very difficult in the beginning especially to start a business especially a business that you are not very sure of you know you don't know how it's going to work out i mean with any business i'm pretty sure you don't know exactly what's going to happen but i honestly and deep down inside believe that this is going to be successful because i am passionate about it i am putting my all into it and i haven't done that with anything in a really long time so i feel like this is what's going to make my business grow to the extent that i expect it to grow to so i want you guys to come along with me on this journey i want to help other people as well as i want to be a part of a community that also i can lean on as well because i am new to this and i'm pretty sure there is millions of other people that know more than i do and i would love feedback from anybody that is willing to give it so let's get right into this video okay so this is my studio and I'm going to show you guys what I got going on here. I got this rack. I think I got this rack from Ikea, I think. Or did I get it from Home Depot? I don't even know. I I will put, um, if you guys are interested, I will definitely put a link in the description of where I got this from. So, I'll start from the bottom. I have my wax here. 
in this container. I'm actually going to get another one to put there because that is actually wax. And these two boxes are old containers that I was going to use, but I do not like them anymore. Okay, so I have my fragrance oils here. And I'm actually, I got these small bins for this size, but I got the big ones back here when I get the size up from this. And then I just have my cleaning and supplies and my garbage bags and stuff in there. I'm going to get one more of these and I'm probably going to stack this up this way and then have that one and that one there. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. My second shelf, I'm not sure if this is what the shelf is going to be like. Only because I used to have my printer here and then I had this here. But I don't know. I think once I get everything that I need, I will go ahead and um figure out the organization of this but so far i have my paper um my different types of paper i have my um avery labels which are in here i love this little this shelf thing i got this from ikea also um so i have my avery labels these were different samples that i ordered so i'm going to be testing actually i'm going to be testing these out in another video and then i have some of my, my journals and stuff like that this light i'm actually going to be putting up in on the ceiling up there so that i have a better light view from the ceiling so this light is actually going to be going there these are wicks that i just purchased sample kit because i'm testing them out um i already poured those and then i have my notebook of notes okay and this area this is usually where i keep my my laptop this is my laptop case and my tablet case so i just keep my to keep them secure and i don't really put papers in there and then i have my little boss lady mug here this actually i got from one of my friends nasha shout out to nasha and um my little play i actually use this when i'm doing videos uh, i'll put this like over there there's another plant there but i'll put that big plant there and then it just gives it another a, a, a different color other than you know that and then this is something I have to do today. So I put that out. Um, I have a fan because when I'm smelling candles, the smell is just really strong. So I put this on and um, yeah, it helps me to not pass out. So up here, I actually had a little boo-boo. Um, this part is off of this thing. So when I was putting the candles up there, I hit this like this and and it spilled so i have to scrape it with this but i was waiting for it to melt because wiping up candle wax when it's wet not good so these are testing jars that i have you see that they're all i've reused most of these jars multiple times because i don't want to waste jars so i've been reusing them and um this one these i think i just did i just no i didn't just make these yeah, I just made these actually. Yeah, so I'm testing these soon. And then the ones in the back are just other jars that I've, so this is the only amount of jars that I will test and I will just, when I'm done, I will like, let me show you one of them. Like this one, when I'm done with this, I will melt the bottom of it and I will put this, um, I'll pour this out and then I will wipe this down and it'll be like clean and then I'll use it again but I will never use, reuse these for a customer and then up here I have my jars so I have different colors so this was the first amount of jars that I purchased and um I think I still have like six left so I'm gonna keep these and then I'm gonna order another set of their set of 12 and those are these boxes I have up here I like usps and i'm going to use those for the beginning because i know that i do not have enough finances to purchase boxes that are like you know with my logo and stuff on it right now so i'm going to use usps so i opened up i actually have a bunch of them here oh as you can see i have a bunch of them down there and so i opened them up just to see because i want to see how mini candles fit in the boxes so there's like four of them open up there okay so i have my printer here i'm most likely going to get a table that goes here 
so that the printer can stay up here and then I, I don't have to keep taking the printer off to get to this box but I needed the printer to be up so that I can you know I can open you know do stuff like that and it's this is a really good printer it is really good okay so this section is miscellaneous really um i have all my books so these are these are my candle um notebooks they're, they're all different like i have a candle co-information this one's a brainstorming book and this is my actual testing um book which i have all my this one this side i have all my little notes for when i'm testing so i can go back all right so that's for that and then i have my matches here these are i'm actually going to sell this at some point but i just wanted to buy a sample of them just to see how they were and um this is a box of matches too let's go to this side all right, these are all my samples. So this comes in this size and the size I showed you before. Um, these were the first things that I purchased. So that's why I have so many because I want—I just wanted to make sure what I was going to like. Like, so I purchased <laughs> so many. They were—they were like a dollar fifty each, I think. And then I did it from different companies. So this is Flaming Candle. That's Candle Science. All right. So I got my little plan and my black gloves. I bought these because it looks more aesthetically pleasing when I'm doing videos. And then I set these up here because this is going to be my next um, video, which I'm going to be burning these candles. I mean, I'm going to be making these candles and I have the scents already inside of what I'm going to be mixing. All right. So these are, this is basically my candle making section um, because I have, you know, my my measure my what's this called again it's whatever so i have you know this is my candle making session because i have all of the things that i need to make candles minus the wax and i have you know my my pens and stuff like that and then i have my pitch pictures for pouring here so i actually got a small one in the beginning and then i started getting the big ones and then i saw i like this black one because this one's this one's good for videos and stuff so i used i i started using this for videos because it just looks better um and then this is the burner that i have for right now so this is not going to be the burner that i'm going to use because i have a new wax melter and so i've been using this as a double broiler and this is the box right here i'm gonna show you guys what's in it soon i just need to um this is for the next video so i will be showing you guys what's in this box well you know what's in the box it's a wax melter but what it looks like how i set it up and everything all right guys so that was my little studio in my little apartment and i'm excited about it just because i just I'm excited that I even have a little space even if it is a corner of the living room it is a space that's mine and that I can use for my business and that I can stay productive and creative so I'm excited about that I am also going to be purchasing a lot more in the next coming weeks so I will probably do a new video of what um what else I purchased um so it'll be a complete studio tour of what I purchased because I have literally the longest list ever of things that I have to purchase so I am going to be showcasing that soon so my next video is actually going to be about me making candles so you guys are going to see my candle making process I'm also going to be unboxing my new wax melter which is so exciting um and I would love for you guys to check that out all right so if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel and tap on that notification bell so you can see my next video and I am so glad that you guys stayed for this long and I'm so glad that you guys clicked on my video. I am excited. I hope you're excited too. I will see you on my next video. Bye!